Hey, everyone, welcome back to Manuals Plus. Today, we're elaborating the installation instructions of Dometic RM2350 3-Way Fridge 90L. Let's get started. Installation Instructions Dimensions The following dimensions offer adequate space for service and proper installation. Installing the refrigerator it is essential that all maximum or minimum dimensions are strictly maintained, as the performance of the refrigerator is dependent on adequate flow of air over the rear of the refrigerator. The refrigerator must be installed in a substantial enclosure and must be level, C, dimensions. The space between the storage cabinet and the top of the refrigerator should be blocked otherwise heat will become trapped in this space, making the top of the refrigerator hot, thus reducing the efficiency of the unit. All areas within the recess in which the refrigerator is installed must be sealed. Make sure that there is a complete seal between the front frame of the refrigerator and the top, sides and bottom of the enclosure. A length of sealing strip is applied to the rear surface of the front frame for this purpose. Apply a sealing strip to the foremost floor of the enclosure. The ceiling should provide a complete isolation of the appliance's combustion system from the vehicle interior. Securing the refrigerator. Failure to follow the sequence in securing refrigerator in enclosure can cause leakage between the frame and cabinet. After the refrigerator is put in place, the refrigerator is to be secured in the enclosure with five screws. The screws have to be installed in the following order. Four screws installed through the front frame. One screw installed in rear base. In the parts bag there are plugs to be snapped in the front frame to cover the four screw heads. Connections. Universal LP Gas Connection The gas installation and servicing must be carried out by an authorized person and conform to all relevant local authorities. The refrigerator is not designed for operation on town gas or natural gas, but for operation on universal LP gas, the pressure of which must be 275 kPa. Check that this is stated on the data plate. The gas supply system must incorporate an approved gas pressure regulator to maintain a supply pressure of 275 kPa. The supply pipe should be of copper. If other material is used, it must be of a type approved for use with continuously operating bottle gas appliances and have threaded connections throughout. All connectors etc. should be of a type specifically designed. For the type and diameter of the connection pipe used, and screw joints should be sealed with a joining compound AP proved for use with bottle gas. The gas supply pipe should be connected to the gas inlet, which is furnished with an ISO 7-1, RP 1-8 internal pipe. Thread connection with a SAE flare. In making the connection to the refrigerator, a union gas cock of an approved bottle gas type must be incorporated in the supply line in a position which is readily accessible to the user. For eventual servicing purposes, the union should be positioned so as not to prevent the refrigerator from being readily withdrawn. All completed connections should be checked for leaks with soapy water. Testing ULP gas safety shut off. Start the refrigerator. Check that the gas flame is lit which can be observed on the flame indicator E, the red indicator is in the green field. Close the gas valve by turning the knob a back to OFF position. Wait for one minute. Remove burner cover plate. Open the gas valve by turning knob A to position without pushing the buttons C and D. Apply a non-corrosive commercial bubble solution to the burner jet. No bubbles should appear at the opening of the burner jet. The presence of bubbles indicates a defective gas safety shutoff and service is required. If no bubbles were present at the burner jet, the gas safety valve is working properly. Rinse jet thoroughly with fresh water before proceeding. Be careful not to damage the burner jet. Replace cover and turn the main switch OFF and back on. Normal operation of the burner should return. Allow the burner to operate for a minimum of 5 minutes. Electrical connection. The electrical installation must be carried out in a proper and durable manner, taking into account all relevant regulations and codes of practice. For mains voltage operation, it is important that the circuit to and in the caravan is effectively earthed. The refrigerator is equipped with a three-prong plug for your protection against shock hazards and should be plugged directly into a properly grounded three-prong receptacle. 230 to 240 V supplies. 
check that the voltage stated on the data plate is the same as the main voltage in use. Plug the 230 to 240 V refrigerator power cord into an easily accessible wall socket. Electrical leads must be routed and secured so that they cannot come into contact with hot or sharp parts of the refrigerator. Exchange of supply cord. If the supply cord is damaged, it must be replaced by the manufacturer, its service agent or similarly qualified persons in order to avoid a hazard. 12 volts DC supplies. The connection is made to the terminal block marked 12 volts DC, located at the bottom left corner on the back of the refrigerator. To avoid a voltage drop, the cross-sectional area of the connecting wires between battery and refrigerator must be at least 6 meter meter square. To ensure safe operation, the positive lead must be fitted with a fuse rated at 20 amps. Correct polarity must be observed when connecting to the 12 VDC supply. The connections must be clean, tight and free from corrosion. If not, a resulting voltage drop will cause a decreased cooling capacity. Before leaving. Once the installation is complete, test the operation of the refrigerator and instruct the user on its correct operation. If the appliance fails to operate correctly, contact your local domestic service provider. Are you hinging the door? Before working on the refrigerator, make sure the 230 to 240 V AC voltage and 12 V DC voltage leads are disconnected. Detach the top decor panel by removing the two mounting screws and the two knobs. Disengage seal strips. Remove the panel and place it aside. Use a socket wrench to loosen the upper hinge pin. Remove pin and save for later use. Lift door off the lower hinge pin. Place door on soft material to prevent any damage to the door. Remove lower hinge pin and insert into hinge hole on new hinge. Remove lower hinge by unscrewing the three screws. Save screws for later use. Remove plugs that cover the screw holes located on the side opposite of the present hinge location. Fasten the new hinge with the three screws removed earlier. Insert plugs to cover the unused screw holes on the opposite side. Unscrew screws and remove upper hinge and travel catch. Save screws for reinstallation. Flip travel catch upside down and install on the opposite side of its present location. Install a new hinge. Fasten with the screws removed earlier. Locate the door. Remove plug and latch retainer on the top of the door. Replace in opposite positions. Place door on lower hinge pin. Mount upper hinge pin and fasten it using a socket wrench. Locate top decoration panel and detach the travel catch. Replace in opposite position. Fit top decoration panel and reinstall screws, knobs, and seal strips. Check the travel catch to make sure it works properly, that the door closes easily and that the gasket seals well on all sides. Mounting the door panel. The refrigerator is normally delivered without door panel and it is advisable to mount the panel before the refrigerator is installed in the enclosure. Before starting the mounting work, read this instruction thoroughly and check that the panel dimensions are in compliance with those given in the following table. To mount the panel, follow these steps. Remove the screws from the top door, cover strip and remove the cover strip by pulling straight upward. Slide the panel from the top of the door into the grooves on the vertical edges of the door sliding downwards until the panel fits into the lower door edge. Replace the top cover strip and fasten with screws. Refrigerator removal. Before working on the refrigerator, make sure the 230 to 240 V AC voltage and 12 V DC voltage leads are disconnected. Shut off the gas supply at the ULP gas bottle. Disconnect the gas supply line. Always use a backup wrench when loosening and tightening connections. Cap the gas supply line, loosen the screws anchor ANG the refrigerator to the enclosure and slide the refrigerator out of the compartment. When replacing the refrigerator make sure that the sealing strips are properly positioned. Replacement is the reverse of removal. Check all connections for gas leaks. Thanks for tuning in with Manuals Plus today. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tutorials. Catch you in the next video.